headed to the Okie Finoki Swamp. Why? Because for the last three days in Florida, or at least northern Florida, it has been downpouring. So we have been a little stir crazy and I'm not sure if this is the best place for us to go considering it's swampland and we just got like how many inches of rain? Quite a few inches at least. Yeah. So this might blow up in our face, but we're gonna check it out anyway. We usually make these bad decisions when we've been pooped up. So I'll show you what not to do. <laughs> right. So hopefully this is not one of those. Let's and go to the swamp after a monsoon. <laughs> yeah. But it's Christmas Eve Eve and it's 70 degrees in North Florida, so So we're gonna well. Yeah, we're gonna go do something. It's better than there's no mosquitoes right now, so that's that's a good time to go. Yeah, we've done this before after a few days of rain and not to the Okefenokee Swamp, but to a different area and got eaten alive by mosquitoes. Actually, I believe it was up in New York. So, luckily for us, it's cold enough to where we're not going to get eaten by mosquitoes, or hopefully, um, we're hoping for that anyway. So, hopefully we get some good footage for you and it's not us drowning in a swamp somewhere with being alligator feet for the day so that would get a lot of hits though yeah probably <laughs> but at least we're not stuck shopping with everybody else today in the long lines we are going somewhere that hopefully nobody else is going to be today right. so we'll get some good footage if not my head in a gator's mouth so we'll see you soon Okay, so there's going to be a change of plans. I'm not going to be eaten by a gator, at least not at Okefenokee, because we did uh, go there. We are still going to Okefenokee. Well, we're still going to Okefenokee, but it's still... We went to the privately owned right. uh, profit by mistake. Uh, and that one, the lady, you know, we had gone to check in, figuring, because it said it was a national forest. So we grabbed our National Park Pass, figuring, you know, we'd save some more money. And we went to check in, and $17 to get in on general admission, $27 to get a boat ride and a train tour and things of that nature. It did, it did look cool. It, I mean, if you were looking to do that stuff, I don't say don't go there. Right. The lady was really nice and realized that we just didn't want to spend $17 per person. For going, ride. yeah, we just wanted to hike, so right. she kind of understood that we weren't there for all the tourist type things and that we were just looking to go for a nature hike. And so she had this trusty printout, and that way it is literally driving directions from this place to the Oki Finoki National Wildlife Refuge. Obviously, we're not the first people to make this mistake, right. So they were well aware of us hikers. Cheapies. Cheapies, yeah. Uh, so we are heading that way right now. And, but it did re look really nice back there. So I do recommend if you do want to spend the money and do something a little bit more active than just hiking and you want to, you know, do the boat ride thing and the train thing, then I believe that that cost is definitely worth it. Uh, but well, we could tell we didn't go in, but right. looking from the outside, it looked very kid friendly. Yeah, it's like a park. So, yeah, yeah. We're not saying don't go there; it just was not the place we were intending. So now right. you're heading in the right direction. And we definitely passed this place on the way there. Right, we gotta go 27 miles back, back. before we just came. <laughs> so yeah, we are just you know chasing our tails right now. So when we're done chasing our tails.
Okay, so we finally made it to the Okefenokee Refuge, Refuge. which is a national yes. park, uh, which your our annual park pass actually works at. But if you don't have one, and if you get here around 3 o'clock, then they state that they waive their fees right. because you're here so late and the park closes at 5.30. And they said the last boat tour they're going to do today was like 4 o'clock. Um, here's the boats. And we're probably just going to do the drive and check some stuff out. But do a little bit of hiking. Come back for the boat tour at some point. Yeah. And they said that there's a bulb cat. Or a bulb cat. What's a bulb cat? <laughs> What in a the hell? <laughs> There's a new species found. It's a bulb cat. <laughs> There's a bulb cat. What are you kidding? A bulb cat. Bob. Bob, 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 Bob. My name is Rob. <laughs> All right, There's we're a going. Bob cat. That, I guess, is allowing people to get fairly close to him, so maybe we'll see him and be able to get some footage of him or her. <laughs> so, let's right. go. <laughs> Depends on what this bulb cap identifies as today. <laughs> is he a or bob or a bulb? <laughs> or Roberta today. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> Just a baby. Watch out! Are yeah, you done messing with them? I <sighs> Go poke it. Make sure it's. Oh, that's pretty neat. It's like cartoon kind of mushroom. It's the Smurfs. Yeah. Well, that sucker's poisonous, I can guarantee you. Guarantee. Or your money back. Some images refer to the Amanita muscaria mushroom, which isn't a classical psychedelic, as it works on different neurotransmitter pathways, but still is a psychoactive. haven't hiked in a while, do you need to stop and take a break? Tennessee? Yeah, Tennessee. That and Smokies. Swamp. This is where the swamp thing lives. The syrup shed. Hollow log well. Who made the swamp? Corn crib. Grape armor. Syrup shed. Everything you need. Garden. 1927. And this is where the swamp thing lives. So let's try.
doing that way? One thing does not want to be in there. Not this one. Mm -hmm. Do not drink the water. Now that is a tub with a view, huh? Mm -hmm. Sit out here and bathe. Going from the front. Running water. Put it as close as I can. Well, right there. The sink. Pump handle. Can't go in now. You'll probably give tours. Oh, it was my, uh... It looks pretty neat. Look at that. Yeah. They made that from the palms. And the whole time you've been buying brooms. I know. What We're the heck? We're going right in the yard. Jeez Louise. Well, no more spending money on brooms. Or transportation. What kind of gas mines you get in those brooms? <laughs> Let me show you. Take it home. This forest doesn't have monkeys, does it? Just one. Okay, so we just made it up to the top of the tower. Whatever this was, Chester Island or Chesler Island. Ches Chesser. Chesler. Anyway, it's a long boardwalk through a swampy area. And uh, whoever built it, kudos to them for being out here because there's gators, there's snakes, there's... There's a little of everything. Everything right possible back like mm -hmm. here in the swamp. So you have to wade through this and you build this stuff. Unfortunately, I did not get to see my bobcat. No bobcats today. Right, this is some great views back here. Um, at the end of this, it's like a fire tower, or observation tower. and It really is pretty up here. Yeah, and when nobody's around, it's super quiet and peaceful. Yeah, and you hear all the different animals and all the different noises going on. So the lighter you tread, the more you're going to hear. Right. So if you're bringing kids here, I would say just let them know to be quiet and they will see more if they're quiet. We walked right up on that gator. Granted, it's about 70 degrees, which isn't cold, but it's to the point where they're starting to, especially sitting in the water, uh, being cold-blooded. Uh, they don't move much, so it didn't didn't care if they were there. and. I walked right past it yeah. and Rob said if Holy uh, crap. there wasn't a boardwalk that I would have oh it would have well, I would have been lunch yeah it uh, it was like a foot away from us when we walked yeah. by it so but uh, yeah if you're in Okie Finoki make sure you go to the refuge uh, wildlife refuge and National Park Pass again got us in for free yes. and this is uh, this is pretty cool out here we're not gonna do the boat tour today we'll have to come back for that another day yeah because we got here a little late due to the fact that we went to the wrong place so that hour and a half that we spent kind of chasing our tail a little bit ended up costing us a boat tour back at some point because it's only about an hour hour from the house and uh, some good winter stuff to do um, there are still some bugs even though it is December but uh, yeah pretty cool so let's see if there's anything else if not we're gonna close out the video
All right, this is a big guy right here. Like, real big. We're gonna get hit. Okay, so we are leaving the Chesser Island Boardwalk. And I must say that luckily it is cold out or getting chillier out because there were some mammoth gators going on. So if it was summertime, I am feeling that they would have uh, maybe came at us a little bit. <laughs> oh yeah, gators can move. Yeah. They, uh, they do 30 miles an hour, they'll chase you down. Yeah. So definitely don't go bike in with a dog or anything along these roads. No. You've seen a big one. Yeah. Like when the gator has a second neck coming out of him, you know he's big. So you do not want him to fill up on you.